from Sheikh Mohammed Hassan. Uh, will you be will you be light, not create ozone by reacting with oxygen? If yes, what are the safeguards against ozone and how it impacts ventilation system disinfection? Anybody care to take that? Well, I can. I can give a, a somewhat of an answer on that. Uh, depending on the way, so if it's a low enough wavelength, the UV light source will generate ozone. And that's been an issue even before the UV sterilization systems became very popular with COVID-19. We've seen that with electrostatic air cleaners, for example, and other types of enclosed disinfection units. It's like anything else. You, don't, you, you If you want to create ozone, you're going to need to have sufficient ventilation to make sure you don't have a concentration of it in the room and that's going to cause irritability to people's lungs and things like that but that again that becomes a design issue from a product standpoint we can certainly test for it i know a lot of electrostatic air cleaners have some sophisticated ozone monitoring systems to make sure the concentration doesn't rise above the limit I want to say it's 50 parts per billion, but I'm, I'm going off the top of my head. You'd have to look at the particular safety standard for that. So it really is a matter of managing the ozone concentration in the room.